Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. And this is part one of my interview with Adam Curry, co-founder of Podshow Podcast Network. Now, I have to tell you up front, I was nervous. And you're going to be able to tell that because this is the podfather we're talking about in my very first face-to-face -face interview. And when I say face-to-face, -face, you can't imagine how close we were to each other. <laughs> For those of you who aren't enmeshed in the podcasting community, some podcasters misunderstand the Podshow mission and worry that Podshow will own a producer's content. Now, Adam puts that concern to rest once and for all. I hope you enjoy this special episode. Comment at geekbrief.tv, and don't forget about the special deal you can get registering a domain name at godaddy.com. Enter promo code GB3, and you'll get your domain name for only $6.95. Now, here's part one of my interview with Adam Curry, the podfather. A lot of people have, a tr have trouble understanding, it seems, because you say over and over and over that Podshow doesn't have control over the content that's, that's on the Podshow network. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about that. Maybe once and for all, you can tell people that content isn't owned by you. It's owned by the producers. Right. Content isn't owned by us. It's owned by the producers. It's that simple. <laughs> I don't, you know, there's a lot of people out there who I think we were very successful in helping to spark this podcasting community. Um, and for some reason, uh, if you look at the community by itself, which communicates in very closed environments, really amongst themselves, there's a lot of, you know, I think, you know, second guessing or, you know, like we, uh, like Pacho owes someone something, uh, which is, you know, a part of being so open, I think, and talking about um, really bringing listeners, who in this case are also, many of them are podcasters, bringing them into the world and when you make it seem so easy and effortless, um, you know, people get all kinds of, you know, raise all kinds of questions. And there's, this, there's a big blogging mentality that still goes along with podcasting. Uh, blogging monetization is based upon um, revenue models like AdSense and other revenue splits. We're, we've, all, we've all, never made any qualms about it. We want to build a network. Mm -hmm. And a network is not about you know, just revenue share. You know, the, a significant amount of resources need to be in this network to help people take their own their own stuff and generate a media property out of it and make money on it uh, off of it. If that's what you want to do, there's a lot of people um, um, who envision that differently. Right. And there's a lot of networks. In fact, every other network is completely the opposite of what we are. Um, we're not about you know just splitting revenue based upon a buy that an advertiser you know happens to plunk down some money. And we're taking this to I think a, a much different level with a very different background and a lot of experience in entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're and we're not competing with other ad networks or other podcasts. We're competing with mainstream media, and you need to have certain things at a certain level. Not everyone agrees with that, but you know this is the company we want to build. Um, it's so funny because you know. Um, I heard a show the other day, someone, uh, I can't remember what show it was, uh, talking about you know, also building another podcast network. And the comment was, um, well, we're doing it the old-fashioned way without venture capital. You know, it's like <laughs> it's such a misunderstanding of what it takes to get venture capital. If you want to compete with mainstream media, you need money. Right. You, know, you, you get money in, and then people think that fell out of the skies because we were just there. You know, so that's, there's a lot of that going on. And um, at the end of the day, part of our mission has been to enable creative people to compete with mainstream media. You can only, I believe, do it as part of a network that really seems to be, you know, you have to have some kind of power of other podcasters to create enough audience to get, you know, through promos and cross promotion to get your, your message out. Also on the, uh, on the inflow side, you have to have enough aggregate audience to get big advertiser, advertisers interested. Um, that's, that's what we've been building. And, I really, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I just shut my brain off to all the noise because it just slows everything down. And um, I'm really excited about motivated people with an audience, without an audience, you know, just someone who wants to make the network grow, put into it so they can get value out of it, which is more than what they put in. Uh, that's really what we're doing. And I have no interest in telling anyone how they should address their audience. I don't know. How you address your audience, you guys know better than I do. I have no idea. Um, I can guess. I can you know, give you ideas and thoughts. But at the end of the day, it's not my job. It's not my job to tell Madge Weinstein how to communicate with her audience. My job is to go find ways for that to grow. And with growth comes monetization. With monetization comes uh, 
more fun things, more ideas, more creativity, and every single second we take away from mainstream media is a win for us. And uh, I have no desire uh, to own anyone's content. I have desire to work with people exclusively. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. And that's it. Okay. And so a lot of people also feel that once they get into the network, they might get lost in the thousands and thousands of people that want to join. You don't feel that that's going to happen? Well, I certainly hope not. That, that would be bad on our part. Um, there's going to be different levels. You know, we have the, the podcast delivery network, and there will be, uh, look, if you just want to buy the services, we'll happily sell it to you. No advertising necessary. Um, but as we uh, unleash all, uh, all of our network, both on the podcasting and on the listening side, um, I think it will be very apparent um, that you know, everyone can, you, know, you get out of it what you put into it. Uh, this is not a free ride. This is not, uh, th there is absolute real opportunity for quitting your day job, uh, but it's not magic. Uh, and we have several people who have already done it, and we're working with a lot of creative and talented people. Um, so if you act like a number, you'll become a number. I mean, I can't say it any other way. It's, it's like real life. This is not a magic bullet. There's 40, 40 people inside this, 35 inside this company working very hard every single day. And then there's another, you know, 100 outside of the company working very hard creating the network, building shows. You know, this is not like, this is not deserved for anyone. You know, you, you come in because you worked hard and we think we can do something together. I mean, you've sat, uh, both of you sat with Ron and I. Um, I actually taped a little bit of that and I'll make sure to put that into my video. Um, you know, we're approaching this like a business. Um, you tell me, what, what is your thought after, um, after a, a day at Pod Show? I think what you guys are doing is amazing. I, I think you have it right, and I think that people will love to be a part of it. And I think they'll do very well to be a part of Pod Show. Okay. Well, most important for me is, um, is that we have audience that love what we're doing. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's important. If, if, if we all have fun and we create a good vibe, that will certainly carry over to the outside. Uh, we we got to get audience. We have to grow our audience. That's really what we need to do. And, and I'll just say this to you guys. Whenever you um, think about how your parents can't <laughs> seem to figure it out, if you tell your, your parents about, about podcasting, some of them know, some of them don't. What Podshow is doing is, is really making it easy for the listeners and the viewers.